Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Dinit, 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 zone of danger! Kenny, 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 logins! Top Gun for the Famicom. Top Gun the movie is, in my opinion, a perfect movie. It knows exactly what it's trying to do and does it with style. I saw it in the theater with my dad when it came out. And my favorite part of Top Gun is definitely the sex scene. Mel Gibson's ass looks great. Wait. No, that's Lethal Weapon. Hang on. That, that's also a perfect movie. Top Gun's the one with Tom Cruise and, and uh, that other chick nobody remembers. Right, okay. Wait, one more, one more thing. Lethal Weapon 2 is the one with the sex scene. But, but that's also a really good movie. Man, the 80s were the best. And uh, I love the NES version of this song, especially when the drums kick in here. It's so danceable. Top Gun, it's the uh, movie with the airplanes. That's not Iron Eagle or The Final Countdown. And it's the one that got a kick-ass video game on the NES from Konami that we all played back in the day, and now I'm playing it on the Nintendo Famicom because I can. It's the same game, but whatever. It's never a bad time to play Top Gun because this game rocks. And it holds up remarkably well 30 years after the release of the movie. 2016, it's been 30 years since I saw Top Gun in the theater. Damn, I'm old. When the hell did that happen? The beauty is I really haven't changed at all. I've gotten fatter, but whatever. We all do. I still love Top Gun. This is actually one of the games that sold me on getting an NES way back in the day. My friend down the street had this, and I, I loved it. Like the movie, it's one of the perfect video games from the era. Which is pretty remarkable considering it's a licensed game. I think it's easy to forget that Top Gun is based on a movie. Like, most movie games are crap. Well, not this one. It plays well, it's fun, it's challenging, it looks good, the music is good, and I think I may be the only person alive who enjoys the landing sequence. They could have used more Kenny Loggins, though. What you could do is go Iron Eagle style and have a cassette player on your belt with some headphones playing the Top Gun soundtrack so you can rock out to playing with the boys while you're trying to land your plane. It does take a while, doesn't it? Which button transforms into a robot? I've been watching a lot of Macross lately. I feel like I need to go into battleoid mode. I mean, if you think about it, when your jet has feet, it's far easier to land. Yes, to the Tailhook Club, where I'm going to seduce girls in the bathroom by reading copies of Dianetics to them. I love the music in this game. Now, here we are in level 2 where things get far more challenging. One strategy is just to avoid everything. Fly like a coward, because that gunfire will kill you. And uh, watch out for those missiles. This is kind of like Afterburner, but also not at all. Because you're not being scored for the distance that you travel, you're being scored for the things that you blow up. And if you make it through a mission, you get some bonus points. Especially if you can land your plane without exploding. Right, right, down, down, right, right, speed up, speed up, slow down! What are we talking about here? Refueling the plane, of course. Where was your mind? They all same place as mine. There should have been a graphic with two planes smoking cigarettes there. That would have really completed the moment. Anyway, now that we've been refueled, it's time to blow up more enemies or just get blown up. Top Gun is harder than it looks.
Crash and burn, Mav. Slider, you stink! That guy was great getting killed in the Terminator. Was he in anything else? I spoke too soon. I can't remember his name, but that guy's also in Navy Seals. And that movie's great. You cannot lose when Bill Paxton, Charlie Sheen, and Michael Bean are all in the same movie together. With guns. Is there an NES game based on Navy SEALs? There should be. Is it too late to make one? Someone get LJN on the line. Let's make it happen. Back to Top Gun from Konami. Konami in their prime. When I wasn't playing Contra, I was playing Top Gun. This is so much fun. It is tough, though. Getting past level 2 requires cat-like reflexes or mark-like cowardice. Just avoid everything. Fly the other direction. Before each mission, you can choose your weapon loadout. There's numerous missiles to choose from and lots of sequels. This is such a classic. If you ever get stuck in a mission, push down and to the right so you fly to the top right of the screen. And that'll avoid most of the enemies. Whatever, any excuse to play and review more Top Gun is fine with me. The Famicom version is, as far as I can tell, exactly the same. And I've got a classic game room shout out and thank you to send to Tom Cruise for sending... Really? Oh no, sorry, I read that wrong. To John from West Jefferson. Ohio, not Tom Cruise. John from West Jefferson, Ohio. I'm, I'm in between maps right now, John, but you're already up there because you sent the awesome Pac-Man bottle opener. Which will get used later. I love that it's magnetic and holds on to the bottle caps, so not as many of them end up in my jeans pockets and then go through the washing machine. It's like an epidemic in my house. And I also want to make sure to get a big classic game room shout out and thank you to Kenny Loggins for just being awesome. It's Top Gun! Kenny, 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 Kenny Loggins! Zone of Danger! Bow, bow, bow.